Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Cornelia Connolly was the American-born founder of the Society of Holy Child Jesus, a Roman Catholic religious institute. Born in Philadelphia in 1809 and raised a Presbyterian, Cornelia was orphaned at the age of 14. In 1831, however, she was baptized to the Episcopal Church and married the Reverend Pierce Connolly. The couple moved to Natchez, where Pierce had accepted the rectorship of Trinity Episcopal Church. In the 1830s, Pierce immersed himself in the study of Catholicism. He subsequently resigned his parish and took his family to Rome, where after a meeting with Pope Gregory XVI, he was received into the church. The couple returned to America, where Pierce taught English at a Jesuit college in Grand Coteau, Louisiana. After the tragic deaths of two of their children, Pierce was convinced that he should become a priest, and he took his major orders. At this time, the couple was formally separated. Bishop Wiseman sent Cornelia to a convent in Darby, England, where she was soon running a large day school, an evening school for factory women, and a crowded Sunday school program. It was at this point in the early 1840s that Connolly began training novices for her Society of the Holy Child Jesus and in 1847, she took her vows as a nun. By 1848, the Connollys were involved in a very public and bitter legal battle in which Pierce sued his wife in the hopes of forcing her to return to him. Cornelia felt this would betray her vows. She eventually won the lawsuit, but sadly lost custody of her children, the greatest suffering she endured, she wrote. Cornelia often stated that the Society of the Holy Child was founded on a broken heart. Today, the Sisters of the Holy Child Jesus are active in 14 countries, engaged in educational, spiritual, and pastoral ministries. I'm Joanne Brumfield of the Natchez Convention Center, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.